welcome you. The Orange County Sheriff's Office is looking for the best and the brightest candidates to join their team. Right now, the Sheriff's Office is recruiting more deputies to answer the call, but it has not been easy between dealing with a pandemic and the growing dangers that law enforcement officers face every day. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is Sheriff John Mina himself. Great to see you, Sheriff. How are you? Good. Good morning, Amy. So it has been tough, right? The last two years, I know that law enforcement officers, more of them died from COVID than any other reason. On top of that, of course, law enforcement officers have been targeted in many major cities. What happened in New York over the weekend was just heartbreaking to see. All of that provides, I imagine, many challenges for you. Yeah, recruiting in law enforcement has always been a challenge, especially when we're trying to get the best uh, candidates and be a diverse agency. But the good news is uh, we still have over 3,000 people a year who want to become Orange County uh, Sheriff's deputies. So that's great. You know, all of our agencies, even across the nation, you know, back in the early 90s, uh, increased their staffing levels by hundreds and hundreds of officers and deputies because of the Clinton crime bill. Uh, so all of those deputies right now are in their you know getting closer to 30 years in service or maybe a little over and they're they're all starting to retire now so it's a struggle for us to sometimes keep up with attrition but also um we're adding positions so like in the past five years we've added um almost 240 positions here at the sheriff's office sworn deputies so uh, it, it's a struggle to keep up with the attrition but also uh, the added growth uh, because the, the growth of orange county sheriff what does it take to become a deputy as far as education and training are concerned sort of what are the basic requirements the basic requirements, you have to be uh, 21, uh, you have a driver's license, you cannot be convicted of a felony or crimes like domestic violence or DUI. Uh, certainly a good work history. Uh, you know, the most uh, qualified candidates uh, that come to us are usually uh, have both military and college and are bilingual and have volunteered in their community. That's like the, the top uh, recruit uh, that we're looking for. Um, but we we take a variety of just college or just military. We're very proud of the, the veterans we've hired. About We stick around about 40% of our new hires are all uh, have military service. So something we're very, very proud of here. Sheriff, if you come in with a college degree or a military background, does that mean that you would get a higher pay? So what are some of the benefits of having that background coming in? Right. So, you know, obviously you do get uh, you know, incentives for uh, for different things. You uh, you also get incentives for uh, experience uh, if you have uh, f coming from a different law enforcement agency. Uh, so we offer a, you know, a bonus if you have less than two years of $1,500. If you have uh, up to four years, you can get a $2,000 bonus uh, if you're coming from another law enforcement agency. So uh, a lot of great benefits. The, you know, one of the, the great benefits of the Orange County Sheriff's Office is the variety of positions that we have. We have you know, canine and aviation and a marine unit, and it's just a lot of opportunities. And since our agency is so big, there's so many of those positions and they, they make it really appetizing for other officers and deputies to come from other agencies. I was just looking at some of the pictures you guys posted online the other day for the SWAT training and all the things that they go through in their training. It's really amazing what they do. Tell me a little bit about training because some of the th reasons people would say, well, I, I think it would be a really exciting career opportunity, but I don't want to do it because I really don't know what I'm doing. But you would train that person to, to learn all of the ropes of how to do it. Absolutely. You know, when I started in law enforcement, of course, I came from the military, uh, but you, you go through the law enforcement academy. There's additional training once you get here at the sheriff's office. You know, really, before we put you out on the street uh, by yourself, it's almost a full year of training. Um, and then there's continuous training uh, and, and the experience you get on the street. So uh, for anyone that you know, feels hesitant about us, you know, uh, come talk to our recruiters. Uh, Talk to a deputy. Uh, look at the things we're doing online, and uh, you know, learn more about it. And I think you know, attend the Civilian Police Academy if you want to know about the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Those are all things that you can do, and you know, to to learn about what we're doing here, and if you would like profession in law enforcement. All right, always great to talk to you, Sheriff John Mina. Thanks so much for taking the time to be with us this morning, and stay warm this weekend. Oh, thank you. I will. <laughs>